Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Inland Golf Myrtle Beach. I'm your host Brian Thomas and today we're in beautiful Calabash, North Carolina at the Pearl Golf Links. In just a few moments Mike Benson, head golf professional here at the Pearl is going to join the show. So stay with us. Welcome to Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. Endless Golf is brought to you by Golf Trek, your Myrtle Beach golf connection. Book your package by visiting yourgolfpackage.com slash TV. And by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 800-947-AUTO. The Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations, meet you at the Turtle. And by Endless Golf Myrtle Beach Magazine, your guide to golf in Myrtle Beach. Well, joining me now is head golf professional here at the Pearl Golf Links, Mike Benson. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Brian. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Brunswick County, in Calabash, actually, North Carolina, at the Pearl Golf Links. And I know we're going to play some of the wonderful holes here. You got 36 on two different golf courses, but before we start playing, let's talk a little bit about the East Golf Course on the front side and a wonderful par three that comes to mind is number two. First par three on the golf course, number two. What a beautiful setting on this for this hole. You got bunkers on the right side of the green. You got some hazard up on the left. Uh, behind the green, you got some beautiful azalea bushes. Wind is prevailing into you, so you're gonna have to hit a little extra club even though it's downhill. Um, anything on the green there is, is a good shot. It's a beautiful hole because you are downhill when you hit it. It seems like the ball stays in the air for a while. Um, moving along a little bit, one of the most difficult holes, probably in the whole county, is number six, the par four. Number six is a bear. Anybody who plays out here, we always warn them when they come out to play. Number six, be sure you uh, lay up off the tee. Um, there's water that cuts across the center of the fairway. You need to stay short of that. Um, anything off the tee from 180 to 200 yards is probably going to give you the best option. You've got a little more room to the right side of the, of the fairway. Once you get to your ball, you're going to be hitting an uphill shot. There's a river, a stream that runs all along in front of the green and to the side of the green. You're going to have to make solid contact to get anything on the green here. Everything slopes down to the, to the water, so you, uh, you need to hit the green perfectly. And it's a difficult hole, like yes, I said, sir. and the divers love to go in that yeah. pond and find a lot of they golf balls, don't they? A lot of golf balls there. So, sure. very challenging hole. Uh, par fives are both of our favorite kind of holes to play. We like to get up there and hit the driver a long ways. And this golf course here is one that you can start on a par five and finish on a par Absolutely. five. But in the middle on number nine is a, is a wonderful little snake par five. Tell us about that. Nine is uh, the classic risk we wore par five. Uh, the, the big hitter, person who gets a high ball, can take it over the corner, hit it over those trees, give himself a middle iron or, or a long iron into a, into a green. The standard play is out to the left of the bunker that you see out in the fairway. You stay left of that bunker, you'll hit something about 180 yards uh, to the middle of the fairway and then have a little wedge into that green. Uh, good, good chance to make birdie. The green's pretty flat. It's a, it's a good area to putt on, so uh, a, lot, a lot of birdies are made on number nine. Well, as you can see, it's a wonderful day for golf. I know we're going to play number one, but before we do, let our viewers know how you'd start off this wonderful golf course. I love starting on a par five. We've talked about it before. Getting a chance to get out there, really let loose with the driver. Uh, number one has a bunker on the right-hand corner of the of the fairway. Uh, you could take it over that if you're if you're a long hitter. Otherwise, stay just a little left of that. Uh, with a good drive, you have a chance to hit a long shot into the green. Another good hole to start off, open up with a birdie. Absolutely. Let's head to tee box. Let's, give it a shot. Let's give it a rip. All right, Brian. Here we are on uh, hole number one on the east course. We got a little dog leg to the right, par five. Really good opening hole. If you hit a good drive in the fairway, you got a real good chance to make birdie here. Well, the little wind that's coming in our face is going to make it a little difficult for us short knockers like me, but uh, I do enjoy starting on a par of five for the round today. Absolutely. Put a good swing on it, pro. Show me how it's done. There you go. That right was over it well. the bunkers. Perfect. Good swing, man. Pretty good. So I can come to, to, to the pearl and get lessons. Come right. on down. That was a great swing. Thank you, sir. We've got a beautiful day for golf. Can't complain a bit. Sun's shining. We've played a lot of golf together and just another day on the, on the range. Yes, sir. Put a good move on this one. Oh, beauty. Wow. Absolutely pure. I think you're bringing the best out in me. Well, it's good to play golf with you again. Let's go see what we got. All right. All right, Mike, I think we accomplished what we started out to do. We, uh, 
We both carried the bunkers here on the right side in the fairway. I got about 255, 256 into the green, man, so I'm just going to lay up to a safe distance. Smart play there. I'll let, I'll let you swing away at it. That wind is up there and it scares me just a little bit. Oh, great swing. That's going to be position A there. All right, I'm set up for the next shot. All right, Brian, I got about 250 or so to the pin all, all the way in the back of the green. I'm actually going to give it a go, see if I can't get it somewhere to the, to the front edge of this green here. Put a good swing on it. You hit it right, I think you can get there. Oh, very nice. Should find part of that. It's gonna be a little left of green, but I'll take it. Great place to miss it left. Absolutely. You have a good shot, Ian. All right, 90 yards is what my plan was, somewhere around the 100 yard marker, Mike, and uh, I've accomplished that. You up there right off the green, so uh, see if I can hit my little 56 up there pretty tight and put some pressure on you. Should have a perfect yardage, hit it good. There you go. Good swing. I pulled a little bit, but it should be dancing. That's pin high. Yep. Little pull. It's all right. Long putt for birdie. All right, Brian. I hit it pretty good. I came up a little bit short of where, where I wanted to be, but just, just in the rough here, short of the green. Should have a pretty straightforward pitch in there. Chipping for eagle. Get it close. Go ball. A little heavy. That's all right. Yep. We got no some putting. good birdie putts to make. All right, Mike, uh, finishing up hole number one here, par five at the Pearl Golf Links. Uh, I'm a little closer. Yeah, uh, I take uh, a little pride I'm... in that. So do you want me to tend this for you? You could yank it right out. A little disappointed to be this far away for birdie. I got a, got a caught in the rough a little bit. That's part of the problem of playing the Bermuda rough. It makes it a little tougher. We got Beautiful a greens. At... Beautiful. Mini Verde? Yes, sir. Looking great. They're in great shape. Get Go there. in for Get him. There. Go for we'll him. Take it. Nice. Any way you make a four is good. Great birdie, man. Man, that's putting some pressure right on, on me. Top of it, BT. That hole just got a little tighter on me. All right. Let's do it. Good stroke there. Get in the hole. Oh, good putt. All right, close enough. Good birdie. I'm Thank one you, down. Good putt. Start the day off. Good five. Good, great birdie, man. Thanks, well, stay with us. We're going to hole number 14, a wonderful par three here at the Pearl Golf Links. Welcome to Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents. Our store is unlike any other. We capture coastal living with all of our sensational items from over 100 quality manufacturers. Our staff is friendly, helpful, and knowledgeable, and our store was voted best on the Grand Strand in 2013. So you're getting the very best of sales, service, and delivery. And we offer financing. Come visit us at Seaside Furniture Gallery in Accents. We love our customers. Welcome home and welcome to Myrtle Beach. Whatever your dreams, we want to make them reality. Thomas Beach Vacation and Real Estate promises a commitment to your satisfaction. Whether you're planning a golf vacation or buying a home in the Myrtle Beach area, our team members can help. We know golf and the beach. Make the right choice and speak with one of our team members and immediately feel the difference. Pick up your copy of Endless Golf Myrtle Beach Magazine today. This local golf publication features the most popular golf courses, package information, local golf organizations, and news the Grand Strand has to offer. Each edition will also provide tips from local LPGA and PGA professionals, as well as the latest in fitness to keep your game in shape year-round. Endless Golf Magazine is a free publication and is available at a variety of golf courses and businesses throughout the Grand Strand. Or you can check us out online at EndlessGolfMag.com. Welcome back to the Pearl, and staying with me here is Mike Benson, head golf professional. Mike, we had a great time playing the, the front side here on the Pearl East. 
and uh, I know we're getting ready to move to the back and play some holes, but before we do, uh, let's talk a little bit about our title sponsor, um, Golf Trek and Parker Smith. How important is he to you? Golf Trek is such a wonderful company. They get their players here. Everybody is so prepared to have them out here. They have their tickets. They check in. The process to get them on the golf course is seamless. Uh, we we love having the players come out when they when they have a, a Golf Trek package booked here. Well, I know you have two different courses here, and we're not going to really do a whole lot on the West Course, but. Uh, let our viewers know how wonderful the West Golf Course is here. The West Course is phenomenal. It's got a couple holes right along the Calabash River, uh, two holes that actually play along the entirety of the river. Um, you got some just great open settings, very different than the East Course. The East Course, you have a lot, lot more tree line fairways. The West is a little more open, a little more links feel to it. Uh, brand new bent grass greens, some of the best greens you're going to play on anywhere around here. Um, we're real proud, proud of the, that golf course as well. Well, let's move back to the East Golf Course now and talk about the back a little bit. Some of my favorite holes, um, number 16 comes to mind, which is a beautiful golf hole. 16 is a tricky little golf hole. When you step on a tee, it just looks like a little little iron off the, off the tee box because you just can see that 150 post in the fairway. Trust me, you need to be beyond that 150 post. It's a sharp dog leg to the right. If you stay back at that 150 post, you're going to be blocked out by the trees along the right side of that hole. Your second shot's going to be down to a green. That's a little below where you are at the, at the level of the fairway. Uh, you got the marsh all behind the green, and you just great, great views out there. It's a tricky little short hole, but uh, it's a lot of fun to play. And that whole stretch of holes coming in uh, lines that Calabash River, right and it's river, absolutely yes, beautiful here. Absolutely. Um, another great hole that comes to mind is 17. 17 is a tough par four, fairly long. Uh, it's a dog like to the left a little bit. Trouble runs up the whole entire set left side of the of the fairway. Tee shot, probably just aim at the 150 post, get something out there where you can hit into a, a green that's going to be slightly below the level of the fairway. Uh, fair, the green is guarded by bunkers short and right and a big bunker along the left side of the green. Just want to hit the green, make your par there. It's not a difficult hole, but you can get yourself in a little bit it's of trouble, trouble there if you sides. don't hit it exactly. where you want to. Exactly right. Um, okay, move to number 18 tee box now, right after 17, what a great finishing hole. 18 is my favorite hole on the course. Um, long par five, just great views, you're teeing off right, right up against the river. Uh, you have to hit a perfect tee shot out there. You have water all up the left side, and it's a long hole, so you want to you grip it and, and get it out there, move it along a little bit. You're probably going to have to play it as a three-shot hole. you got a lot more room on the right side of the fairway to hit your layup. You want to stay right, otherwise you're going to bring the water into play, and then you're going to hit to an elevated green, um, and you just want to get, get a short, shorter club as you can in your hands hit into that green. I agree, because yeah. it can be a monster, especially if the wind's blowing the opposite oh, yeah. way. So. Um, all right, so we're going to head to the tee box now at uh, one of my favorite par threes on the golf course. I know we've made some changes on that par three um, here over the years, yep. so you can tell us a little bit about those changes and, and what a great hole to play. Number 14 is just one of those breather holes on the golf course, one of the few holes that you actually have a little short iron in your hand off the tee box. We've moved around the tee box a little bit, kind of brought the water more into play. Uh, you're going to have to hit over the water a little bit, a little bit more for most players. Um, it's just a Probably a 150 yard shot, but you got a big bunker in front right of the green, and you got water again that with a whole drop off to the water on the left. So you got to hit the green. Uh, it's a pretty crowned green, so you definitely want to be in the right area. You want to be make sure you're below the hole. Right, a large green, mm -hmm. easier to hit now that there was a big tree that was taken yeah, out a, a little hit. while back. Yep. So, uh, well, let's head to the tee box and play that wonderful par three, number let's, 14. Let's do it up. All right, Brian, we're on the tee box in number 14 here on the East Course. It's a good little par, th par three, about 145 from the tee box we're on here. Front pin, got a bunker guard on the right side in front of the green and water all up the left side. Just takes a good little, good little solid contact to get it on the green, make a birdie putt. Well, 145 dead in the wind is playing a little bit longer than that. And go ahead and make the first hole in one on our show. Good swing there. Get that one all right. Well, Find a green. Left Anywhere on the green, it'll be dancing. fine. Should be perfect distance. Right club. Good job, bud. Thank you, sir. All right, Mike. I'm not seeing any water out there today. I'm going to swing nice and smooth up into the wind and let it carry it right back to the pin. Oh, great swing there, Brian. That's all Oh, over. go in the hole. Be the right stick. Be right. Be right. It went left a little bit. Oh, great shot. All right. Well, let's go make a birdie putt. Mike, looks like you got about 15, 18 feet, so you're going to need the pin? No, you can take it out, Brian. Thank you. All got right. Got a little left to right break here, up the hill a little bit. 
should be able to get this fairly close if not in. Well, they're rolling good, so uh, no excuses on the greens. No, sir. Superintendent's done a great job out here. Put a good roll on it, buddy. There it is. One turn, time, baby. turn. Ah, ah that's Ooh. all right. All right, let's see. You can have that. I'll take that for a par because I can sir. make this and win the hole. Hopefully, I can, anyways. You got a good chance of making this one. For a birdie. Let's see if I can roll it close. gonna break a little bit toward the water, right? Oh yeah. There it is, in go hole. in. Get in the hole, great All putt. All right, very great good. Great birdie. About time I made a putt. Yeah, it's it not, is. The greens are growing great and I hadn't lift everything out. Nice so. bird. You too, bud. Well, stay with us, we're heading for the tip of the week. No place inspires cool memories and carefree dining quite like Trevinia Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. Whether guests favor the authentic Italian atmosphere or dining in our wine room for a more private occasion, everyone is pampered by Trevinia's passion for serving really fresh, really great contemporary American Italian food in grand style. Trevinia features an extensive wine list and gluten-free menu. Take advantage of our 25% off all bottles of wine every Tuesday, half off martinis every Wednesday, and live jazz music every Friday evening. Open for lunch and dinner. Welcome back to the Pearl, and uh, we're gonna do the tip of the week right now. The vast majority of the students I see have a trouble hitting the ball with a slice. One of the things they overlook the most is their grip. The first thing I'm gonna check when they, when they come to me and they tell me they're slicing the ball, I'm gonna take a look at how they put their hands on the club. Biggest problem most of the students have that slice the ball, will take their thumb and run it straight down the shaft of the, shaft of the club. That puts the V of your, your hand pointing up to your chin. That's going to deliver the club head to the ball open every single time. What we're really looking to see is getting the club, the grip of the club back in the fingers a little bit more. If you can see that right there, we'll get it in the fingers. Let the hand just gently rest over top of the grip. And what you're going to notice is the V of my hand points up to my back shoulder. If you look down at your glove, you should be able to see two knuckles on the back side of your glove. That's going to ensure you to hit, get the club face square at impact. When you need to hit a draw, this is the perfect time to, to test this grip out. Sit the club down, let it rest in the fingers of your left hand, check your, check your V, check your knuckles, and then just swing to a good full balance finish. It'll draw every time. If you need more help with your grip, come see us here at the Pearl or go visit your local PGA professional. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. A special thanks goes out to my good friend, Mike Benson, head golf professional here at the Pearl in Calabash, North Carolina. Golfers, that wonderful package you can book at yourgolfpackage.com with Parker Smith and Golf Trek is here at the Pearl Golf Links. You can play the East or the West anytime you like to. Just give him a call or check out his website. I'm your host, Brian Thomas, and until next time, hit him like you want to. Thanks for watching Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. Endless Golf is brought to you by Golf Trek, your Myrtle Beach golf connection. Book your package by visiting yourgolfpackage.com slash TV and by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 800-947-AUTO. The Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations, meet you at the Turtle. And by Endless Golf Myrtle Beach Magazine, your guide to golf in Myrtle Beach.